Um, and then uh, this is uh, not related to Fuentes anymore. He's decided to put out a video discussing his lawsuit um, or his situation with Matthew Vickers, who has been a little bit more quiet after declaring bankruptcy and filing for divorce. I, along with 50 Anons, basically the sector, uh, are being sued for defamation uh, in California by Matthew Vickers, uh, the grandfather to my son, Alexander and I wanted to settle this, right, because I, I, I talked about this publicly already. Uh, I've been trying to just move on from all this, put the beef behind me, not air this out in public because it's just ridiculous. But um, his first offer was for me to give him uh, my grandfather's diamond ring, my diamond ring now, uh, which, of course, I refused and would never do that ever under any circumstances. His second proposal um, was for him to hold on to the ring and me to sign over my rights to my son when it came time or when it was able to be done, which would be like a year or two down the line. And I said, well, if that's the case, then you know, we need to have some sort of renegotiation on child support, et cetera, because that's a, this is an unfair burden. I should have never even considered this in the first place. Um, but we did have those conversations. Uh, and then he had a meltdown and, uh, you know, lost his mind and said, don't contact him, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the fact of the matter is uh, I'm not going to – give over any diamond ring. They would have to cut this diamond ring off my cold, dead hands uh, before they got it from me. Uh, I'm not going to sign over the rights to my son ever at this point. Uh, and I'm going to see my son here pretty soon, actually. Uh, so, you know, uh, you try to handle things the right way. You try to do it the right way. I offered to make an apology. I offered to... Um, you know, just put this behind us, but he had all these things. He said he would he would lock it in his safe and hold on to it for a year and a half that only he and Ariana, who's his wife, had the combination to. Now, they're allegedly going through a divorce, uh, which it seems kind of weird that um, they still have uh, that sort of relationship uh, if they're going through a divorce. I know there's been rumors that he's doing that to restructure his debt, and it's kind of a gimmick. Uh, that seemingly lead, lead, uh, lends credence to that theory, uh, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, you can't settle things with a guy who's, who's nuts. Uh, and so I did my best. Uh, to try to put it behind me, to try to move on. Um, but that's not uh, possible, apparently. So uh, I look forward to seeing him in court. Uh, win, lose, draw, whatever. Uh, it's not going to affect me much here in Mexico. But it, it is a huge threat to free speech uh, here on the Internet. Uh, it is an attack on my parental rights and just fatherly rights in general. Uh, and, you know, I look forward to seeing him in court. Uh, I don't, uh, I'm not particularly concerned uh, about any judgment, et cetera, um, for several reasons. Um, but no, you're not getting the ring. No, I'm not signing over my rights. And uh, you can go fuck yourself. What a brave stance you took, Ethan. What a brave stance. Oh, you're so fucking brave. Uh, so, wow, cool. The $20 fake Papa's Etsy ring, the fake-ass fucking glass on fake-ass fucking metal. Um, by the way, in case you're curious, the ring he's so defensive of is clearly just a glass uh, gemstone in a fake ring. Uh, and we know for a fact that it is a fake because he has an allergy to it. Um, gold, gold allergy is extremely rare. Gold allergy, gold is a very non-reactive substance. It does not usually interact with very much. Um, to be allergic to gold is just not fucking likely. However, there is another metal that many people have more allergies to, and that is nickel. And gold-plated nickel is a lot more common than, um... 
or is very common. And therefore, if you have an allergic reaction to a piece of jewelry, it is almost always that you have a, a nickel uh, uh, piece that is plated. So his ring is fake. It's fucking nickel. And I almost wonder if it's like, is he refusing to give this fake worthless ring to uh, Vickers because Vickers would just, as a uh, metallurgist, would just test it and, and see that it is a fake ring and would laugh about it on the internet and he just can't stand that. But we all know it's fucking fake. Um, he's also just, he's really, this is like one of his griftiest videos ever because it's it's kind of like a masterpiece in grifting. The first thing he does when he opens this video is he says Matthew Vickers sued 50 anonymous anonymous people, basic, basically the sector. So he opens by saying that Vickers' lawsuit is against 50 people, and that includes everybody in the sector, anybody who's ever made fun of him. So he tries to immediately frame it as Vickers is the enemy, and we're all on the same team in this lawsuit. When the 50 people are... Um, spaces that he's left open to sue uh, certain other trolls on Twitter who fuck with Vickers and shit. It's still retarded, but it's not the sector, quote-unquote. Um, so he frames it like that to try and gain or garner more sympathy. And then he also frames it as, like, the current grift of, like, paternal rights. Like, oh, my, my evil ex-girlfriend took my child, my own one and only firstborn son, away from me because, you know, took it to California where the California family courts are just the most evil thing in the whole world. And even though I don't pay any child support, um, they're trying to take away my kids, trying to ruin me, using my child against me. Just like baiting the fucking line that everybody on the planet takes when they when they want to grift a right-wing audience. Like, oh, it's an evil bitch, and she went to California, the most evil state in the whole country, and they're, they're trying to ruin me. They're trying to use my child against me. Wham. Even though he's like a fucking disgusting pig monster. Uh, I don't know. Um, I think there's a little bit more about Vickers as well. He's crying about the lawsuit that he's still fighting pro se. And... Uh, this is the post put out by Ralph through a proxy. This is an email that he received from uh, Matthew Vickers saying, Since the provision is not about signing your rights away, but concerning the ownership and return of property in the event a specific act is accomplished, I believe the provision will pass muster. So this is in reply to something that Ralph says, This won't hold up in court. You're trying to blackmail me. And Vickers says, No, it is legally enforceable. Um, I doubt there's a third party that either of us trust, but it will go into my safe and never be touched or looked at. Only Ariana and myself will have the combination. Ariana is his wife, which kind of lends to the the argument that um, the divorce is fake and only for tax structuring reasons or bankruptcy reasons. Um, I have nothing to do with child support. You're welcome to work in the family courts. Um, this is between you and Faith. Uh, Vickers is suing not for the, the anything relating to Xander, uh, Vickers is suing him for defamation. I can't remember what the original tort was. It was a um, defamation claim, I think. And I think Ralph probably called him a pedophile or something. Um, so forgive me if I'm misunderstanding, but I, what I'm reading is you want to see Xander. You understand it is in Xander's best interest if you don't see him, child support is a financial burden. You pay child support, you intend to see him. You intend to take on extra financial burden if you continue your existing financial burden to accomplish something that you believe is not in Xander's best interest, but mostly because you know that's something that we need to rather see not happen. Um, this is, by the way, the whole thing, the lawsuit, what he's trying to do is trying to convince Ralph to uh, allow Faith's long-term boyfriend to adopt uh, Xander legally. And then once um, in doing so, uh, Ralph would surrender parental rights and uh, the adoptee father would become the sole, like the sole legally recognized father. So Ralph wouldn't have no legal right to visit. Like even if he, there's like a sole custody arrangement, if you're the father, you can arrange visitation. Um, even if you're like a piece of shit, usually, unless you like did something to, to hurt the child. Um, but in this case, you would be saying that I'm not the father anymore, the, this other guy is, and therefore you can't even, like, force 
uh, visitations. That's how uh, that's how I interpret this. But he's trying not to do that, and I don't know why. Like I don't know why Ralph cares. Um, he the last time he saw this kid that I remember, uh, he flew to California like over a year ago. And during that time, for whatever reason, he had bright blue hair because that was like a trend. Both him and Destiny and Ninja all had bright blue, neon blue hair. Uh, they've all since dropped this fucking blue hair because it's ridiculous looking. But when he went to visit Xander, uh, the baby said, Bluey! <laughs> because uh, apparently uh, he was watching the cartoon and... Uh, Ralph having blue hair reminded him of the cartoon little girl dog. <laughs> so that's how often Xander sees him. He mistook Ralph for a, uh, like a six year old dog. <laughs> um, crazy. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Bill Remember to like and subscribe.